Hey guys, so what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Natalie Rea here and welcome to today's video. I can't help but notice my hair. So let's get that out of the way. I, out of nowhere, decided to cut my hair. And as you can see, it's a, it's a little bit long. I was gonna go this length. So I basically did two small pieces, like in the front. And I thought this would be the perfect length. But then I regretted it. And now I have really messed up hair. I did end up trimming the bottom as well just to make it like a little bit straight. So it's not a huge, huge difference, but now it's like I can't help but notice it. Today's weather is supposed to be a little bit crazy. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain. So let's go check it out. It's definitely not raining right now, but it is cloudy. So it is coming. Today there's a few things that I want to do and one of them is add a few things to the restroom. You know, things TikTok made me buy slash Amazon. So one of them is these hand towels. I should probably wash these, but they'll do. Phoenix has a huge habit of washing his hands and the first thing he does is this. So he gets water everywhere and I hate it. So it's a good thing that I'm gonna have hand towels everywhere. Okay, the next thing that I'm adding is this razor holder for the shower. I basically got this because I hate leaving my razor in the corner because it gets all wet and then I have to change out the razor blade like every freaking month. And then also for the loofahs because I hadn't, literally we have nowhere to hang them. So this is how we have our loofahs right now. And then the razor is literally on this corner so it doesn't get a lot of water. But I'm gonna try and put them right here. This over here is on the side also hate it why couldn't they put it in the middle should i put this here in the middle or should i put it here like in the middle of the square or in the middle of the tub which one <laughs> okay so i guess i'm just gonna put it right here so you just have to press down and then you twist this already feels super strong oh my goodness that already looks so nice it literally looks like it belongs in this shower. That is not bad. For these white ones that we got, these are the duo ones that I'm so excited to open and show you guys. Also, another product that TikTok made me buy. And last one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is where they clip their button so it's really easy to take off and then just wash either or. Okay, and the last thing that I'm gonna be doing to the restroom is adding this film. On the windows I thought we were having um barbecue just you okay it doesn't seem like a huge difference but I could definitely tell I mean you could obviously see the building on this side and then on this side you can't see anything look at this yes. finally finished with the second one as well so we came for a quick little um stop literally right around the corner we just left and it's gonna take us like a, less than a minute to get home um yeah we could have walked but we got food barbecue i got a pulled pork sandwich and then phoenix got like this huge combo which he also had barbecue yesterday so today's the second day i'm telling him daddy cravings smells delicious i got some pickles in there and we're home so mine is this tiny little one they were out of the bun so i got the regular sandwich bread which honestly does make a huge difference but it is what it is. It looks so boring with this sandwich. But, ooh. I think I'm gonna need more barbecue sauce. I am adding the Famous Dave's Rich and Sassy. Damn, I miss Famous Dave's. Do you want some of this? Pickles. That brisket looks good. Mm. So I finally was able to try out the gel polishes that Nail Addict sent out. Right now I'm currently wearing Pink Princess. I told you guys that all of their products are cruelty free. 
vegan free not that it was just the perfect time the perfect timing to get gel polishes to do your own gel nails at home you guys already know that gel polish is supposed to last for a few weeks as opposed to regular nail polish you know like after the second day they already look like crap i believe it's like my third day already having these and they look perfectly fine i'm excited about this whole not having to retouch your nails as often also doing this was very very fun basically what i used was the base polish first I did one layer, a little goes a long way, you guys. So after the base, put the nails in there for 30 seconds, did two coats of the Peak Princess. And lastly, I believe, yeah, I use the no wipe top just to top it off. And then you guys could use my code Natalie25 so you guys can save money on those polishes. You guys, my neighbor, oh my goodness, just hooked it up with, first of all, a bunch of chiles a lot which is perfect because we had zero there's chile de arbol damn phoenix damn we got hooked up <gasps> i'm so happy but she also made these let me try these oh my god this smells so good They look delicious. Oh my god. Croissant dishes. Oh. Mm. The sugar on top. Wow. They're super good. Mm. So it is a brand new day. It is already super late. It's about to be 1 p.m. So I am making myself lunch. I think I'm gonna have a quesadilla because I haven't had one in like two weeks. I feel like it's been like two weeks. But I don't have any chile, so I'm gonna be making salsa de or chile de arbol, whatever. I told you guys that my neighbor dropped off some chiles and I believe I showed you guys how much chile it was. It's so many. It's chile de arbol, chile guajillo, like the California pods, um, the chipotle dry chile, and I believe there's like one more, like chile de pastilla or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but instantly I thought about birria. However, I have no idea how to make birria. So I messaged my older sister to let me know how to make birria and I was like please dumb it out for me like step by step because obviously I don't want to mess it up but um, I'm gonna make some chile de arbol right now oh you could taste that tomato oh that is spicy Yeah. I know lately I've been using a bunch of paper plates, but it is what it is. I'm not trying to wash dishes three times a day. It's fire. It's fire. I just got back from Edika. I went this time. Obviously, you guys know that Phoenix can't leave the base, so we do all of our grocery shopping at the commissary, but I prefer shopping off base in the economy. So I went to Edika and I got so many good things. So welcome to natalie's grocery haul we have some nectarinen nectarinas we got some pears that kind of look like apples they're probably pear apples got some lettuce i got some dumplings this i believe is like meat flavor there was two kinds the other one had like carrots in it so I'm guessing it was like the vegetarian one. So I just went for this one. I've actually been craving these. I wouldn't even know how to properly finish cooking these. I got some more crema. This is a 21% fat. I usually go for the 7% fat and it's a different container, but it didn't have any. So I was like, okay, this looks pretty similar. It sounds pretty similar. So I also got some olive oil. This olive oil, you guys, it's only 3.99 euro, which is like for 50 this at the commissary would be like eight freaking dollars bananas and then i got some greek yogurt i got two of them because both phoenix and i like the greek yogurt sometimes i throw those in with the smoothie as well and it's just like 
fire and it's like the perfect little breakfast when I'm not hungry. Then I got some more, I think it's turkey, two of the salamis. I love the salamis, but then I googled it and it turns out that I can't really have salami. So I don't know why exactly I got two. <laughs> But Phoenix for sure likes those. And then lastly, I got chicken. And that is it. A little tahini moment. All right, you guys. We came to the PX because I don't think I could wait. And I was just, I just want to buy a baby item, probably clothing. We obviously don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl yet. So I'm gonna try and look for something that's like unisex. This is actually gonna be the first time that I've gone to the baby section since being pregnant like five freaking months. And I haven't checked out the baby clothes just because I don't wanna get like too excited and then end up buying a bunch of without knowing the gender. But we're finally doing it today. Okay. All right, you guys, super disappointed because damn, that sounds coming through. There was nothing that I wanted. It's insane because the section was so small and it was like straight up boys and then girls. So then there really wasn't like anything in between but that tan little outfit that I liked that it was striped. But then at the same time, like I didn't like it. Like do I, I don't know. Like if it was gonna be for a boy, I think it would have been fine. But like for a girl, I don't know. I was hoping to find like neutral colors, like a little burnt orange, like a rustic orange, and there was none of that. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait until I find out the gender, which is in exactly seven freaking days. I'm gonna try and make birria. I messaged my sister to send me an entire like how to do birria. So I feel like I feel like I could do it. We're gonna try and do this either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I also got some coriander seeds, which is like cilantro seeds. We got some cilantro, AKA coriander, green tomatillos for the green salsa for the birria. Okay, so I was super cold and we were hanging out outside. So I put on my onesie to keep myself warm. And I'm looking at the sky right now. And it looks freaking beautiful. Everything looks super green super cloudy but like so defined and it's crazy for me to use that word because i'm like pretty blind but i'll show you guys look at this i just love looking up at the sky so for dinner tonight we are having chicken this is going to be a recipe that i just discovered and it has a german mustard mustard <laughs> honey let me show you guys so in a small bowl i'm gonna whisk pretty much everything that i just mentioned oh my goodness i already forgot everything that i need honestly lately i've been writing all of my recipes um down because i forget like i i'm horrible at cooking i always have to google how to make this how to make that um but i don't think i wrote it down i just made this like three days ago and it was so good that phoenix and i both wanted it again today and now i don't remember how to make it <laughs> added some olive oil german sweet mustard and then i'm adding some mustard adding the honey now and this is what's gonna make it super bomb salt some garlic powder okay this smells more like it so basically we're gonna coat the chicken in this sauce like half of it and then with the rest of it because we're only gonna be using half of it to coat the chicken the chicken breast um, i'm gonna add a little bit of water mix it around and that's gonna be our dressing it's not good but you know what that mustard does to the chicken like it comes out tasting super good yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and added some baby spinach and teared up some lettuce. Throw this in the fridge so this can stay cold. For the chicken, this is pretty much how it's looking. 
It smells good. I'm telling you guys, like it's a lot different from once this is cooked. This is pretty much the dressing already now that I added some water. Okay, so here's our chicken. It'd be looking a little burnt, but it's that honey. So freaking bomb. Here is my salad. I added some shredded cheese and avocado. Look at how delicious this looks. Oh, I forgot my ranch. There's this organic avocado dressing that I want to try, but it's really expensive and I can't find it anywhere here until I go back to the States. Um, so ranch it is. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's like Danish. I just checked out the Zara website for DE, DE, Deutschland, aka Germany. And oh my goodness, I've seen this before because they have, well, because I was trying to get something for Elena's baby. But I just don't understand how they're gonna ship to my address. Like, it's all confusing because I have a German address, but because I live on base, it's a little bit different. Like, it's gonna start off with, like, on post blah 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 and a lot of the times the packages don't go through you have to go pick them up at the gate and it's just all confusing so i've never really ordered anything to my german address everything that i order is to my apo address like a po box so it's a lot easier for me to keep track of those things but i'm thinking i'm finally gonna order from zara de and i guess i'm gonna have to risk it and hope that it makes it to my german address the prices are so different if you look at zara like regular website us and then the zara de everything is at least for the baby clothes at least for like one to two to three dollars cheaper in germany than it is in the us website and obviously that's something that you see a lot like Zara in Italy was super cheap. A dress could be like $20 and that same dress in the US, it's like $40. That's why when I went shopping in Italy, I ended up getting so much like under $100. And if I would have gotten all of those things in the US, that would have been like 250 around there. Anyways, so I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to buy anything for the little baby, but I don't really want to get anything just to get it just to have it if i don't like it you know what i mean but i am ending today's video right here i do want to give out a shout out and today's shout out is going to be in spanish un saludo para jorge amenta de uruapan shout out to you and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment anything your big heart desires i love you guys all i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the rare family and i will see you guys very very soon with a for some reason you guys i am german mcdonald's let's do it